My name is Hayden Christensen. I play Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Knight, never a Jedi Master, uh, turned Darth Vader, Lord of the Sith. A very complex character. He has a strong sort of desire for power. There's also a lot of inner conflict, uh, and there's, there's certainly a, an inner sort of struggle of identity. I was living in Vancouver at the time. I was renting an apartment with a, a good friend of mine. He knew that I was up for this role and I was, I was gonna be finding out soon. I got the phone call when I was still in bed, actually. I remember coming out of the room, just like an ear to ear grin on my face. And my roommate looked at me and he was like, is that, you know, is that smile what, you know, what I think it is? And then so I, I, I lit up an imaginary lightsaber, you know. <laughs> and immediately he got it. And then he ran over to his record player and he had a, a Star Wars soundtrack and he put the Star Wars soundtrack on and then he lit up his imaginary lightsaber and we had a whole lightsaber battle as we were laughing and jumping all over the couch and apartment and it was, it was a very exciting time for me. I always had a tough time not making the lightsaber sound effects when I was, when I was doing my lightsaber scenes. Just because you're, you're sort of it's like muscle memory from being a kid. Oh, I, it's, it's really hard to pick just one. There were a, a number of scenes that were very memorable. At the end of, of episode three, when the Darth Vader helmet comes down and he's officially encapsulated in the suit, that for me was, was a very big moment. And I, I remember that very well. At the time, it felt like sort of completion for, for my journey with the character. You know, I was playing Anakin, and then when he becomes Darth Vader, that's sort of right? Um, but now I've gotten to come back and continue my journey with the character. But at the time, it, it, it signified that my, my job was done. Uh, little did I know. I don't know that it's, it's changed my view of Star Wars and this character as much as, as it's just sort of further informed the story and these characters. And that was kind of what was, was really a Appealing about it for me was that we were given the opportunity to, to sort of flush these characters out just a, a little bit more. Getting to come back and play Darth Vader and this sort of the notion that we were going to get a glimpse into the experience of being Darth Vader, I thought that had a, a tremendous amount of value. So it, it's really just been about further informing these characters. I, I felt has been sort of very satisfying. The volume is, is just a, an amazing bit of technology. The approach to working in the volume is much different than filming in front of a blue screen or a green screen. You're, you're totally surrounded by it, and it's incredible. You step into the volume and you're in Star Wars. It's quite the experience. I guess I'm gonna go with Yoda, just to see if I could get some of his wisdom. Maybe some of his knowledge might, might rub off on me. <laughs>